Hey guys, my name's Liz Arila, and today we are doing a bookshop tour because originality. I'm sorry about this shaky intro, but enjoy. The bookshelf is built into the wall, right? And the bottom is a cupboard full of bags and paper and art supplies. Because I'm artsy like that. Bottom shelf. Bottom shelf. It's where I keep my PlayStations, my four, my three, and my two. I uh, currently really the four is plugged in because the cords don't reach. I need to get an extended HDMI to make the cord reach to the three. And I've got to find room for my one. I've got a one that doesn't really work, but I want to sit up with these. Sorry. So I have all of them there as a set. Controllers for my four, because why not? These are the games I'm currently playing. When I plug my three in, this is the game that's in there. So this is the game I play. I love Bioshock. In the four, I'm playing Until Dawn, because I love this game. I watched GT Live play it first, then I watched Jacksepticeye play it, then I watched Markiplier play it, then I watched PewDiePie play it, and now I'm playing it. And then, for some reason, I've also got Avengers Age of Ultron up here. It doesn't actually go here, but I've been watching it a lot lately. Anyway, moving on, putting these back. Probably check out the two. Currently... Ah, Spyro A Hero's Tale. Of course, because that's what I was playing last. Also, got a PlayStation Move controller. Because I'm a cool kid. On the next shelf is actually books and pop vinyls and a puppet. This is Jack. Jack the Pumpkin King. Named after Jack Skellington. Put him on. Hit that one. Hmm. <laughs> and then I've got Stormfly, Toothless. Pick up and muscling. She should be over here a bit more. Separate. Because she's not part of them, but she's still cool. I love Marceline. Okay, the books. I've got some of the classic young adult fiction books that most teenage girls will have, like Divergent. This one I haven't actually read. Once We Were Mermaids, I got given it at school. How to Train Your Dragon. To go with these guys. Mm. Beautiful creatures, all of them. Harry Potter, I'm missing. Which one am I missing? Order of the Phoenix, because of course I am. Tales of Beetle and Bob. End of the game, Forsaken. I mismatched Gone series. I had number one, I gave it to someone to keep because she moved and she was my bestie and I loved her. I also have Lies, but I've lost that. And this is my second copy of Fear in light. And then here we have Fallen and Torment. Sorry, Muslim. Then we have the Fault in Our Stars and a bunch of journals. See, I've got one with a fairy thing on it, a Marvel one. See Spider Man pretty well. One that is of the Joker. It's pretty cool. I'm not writing in it. It's really cool. Hang on. Because you open it, and that's what it looks like on the inside. You can get a Batman one too. But it's also like, the crown prince of crime. It's like a Joker journal, and it is honestly so cool. Oh, I love it. I don't want to write in it. I don't want to wreck it. Then I've also got a 2016 journal that I got with my university. Come on, focus. There we go. And then, lastly, I've got a Star Wars journal. Oh, I love it. That's my first shelf. Better put him back. And then my second shelf, more books and more pop vinyls. We're gonna start here. This is Gur. I love Gur. From Invader Zim. And then this is a jar of erasers. A mason jar full of erasers, because why not? got some pretty cute erasers. I've got a panda and Spider-Man's. So I've got a ghost. It's pretty cool. I don't, I'm such a loser. Then we have Percy Jackson. Roll doll. The BFG is the best one. First Vampire Academy. 
another vampire series called the Morganville Vampires. Morganville Vampires. Morganville. Morganville. International bestseller. And I still haven't read all of it. A death note. Because, again, I'm a, I'm a total cool kid. Maze Runner. That book is so good so far. Another copy of Vampire Academy that is not mine that I need to return. Um, the Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Kylie Chan, which I've never actually read. Into the Land of the Unicorns, which was my favourite book as a kid. I've never read that. Look at that spine. It's a bit dead. Narnia. Which I have yet to read still, because a lot of these I have yet to read. Labyrinth. I haven't read that one either, honestly. I got it from an old shop and I thought, oh, that sounds good. Then we've got The Lucky Man. Because Michael J. Fox is the best. And we've got The Secret Circle, which I also got from an op shop, so it's like number five or something, and I'm thinking about getting rid of it. But you know. And there's also Hell Hole, which is an interesting looking post apocalyptic story. Then we have If I Stay, which is so good and so sad. We also have a, a Fallout pop vinyl, which is The Lone Wanderer. Then we've got The Hunger Games. I can't be the only one whose favourite is Catching Fire, and their least favourite is Mocking Joe, right? Then we've got a Doctor Who book. Then we've got Rowan of Rin, I think. Um, yeah. I'm not really quite sure. These are like the author who wrote Delta Quest, which is a great book, so you know. Put him back. Those are the first three shelves done. Now I need to go get a footstool to do the rest. And I'm back. I got a footstool. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so this is, is the fourth shelf. Is this? This was given to me at one of my birthdays. I can't remember which one, but one of my best friends, Jessica. Hmm. Okay. And then, okay. Um, we started off with this. Now I'm going to talk about the pop finals. It's Elizabeth and Booker from By Truck Infinite. Look at them. Oh, look at them. It's a Skywalker Booker. Because that's the best Booker. Hmm. Look at them. They're so cute. Now first we have this book, which is The Killing Place. Never read it. These four were from an op shop. These five were from an op shop. And I was like, oh, these look interesting. And the op shop has free books. So when I'm ever I'm there, I literally just grab as many books as I possibly can carry. So there's Afraid, I Am God, and Edge. Each of these are like murder mystery horror books, which is pretty cool. And then I also got a pop-up Alice in Wonderland. Let's have a look. This is the front. Well, it's not pop-up, more 3D, which is still amazingly cool. I thought it was super cute. So why not? Next we have is Heaven. Another Angel book, it's the third one in the Halo series, which is really good. Then we have Peter Pan, the nursery Peter Pan. It was probably meant to have like a paper cover over the hardcover. But you know, it's upside down. How do I not know it's upside down? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Also from an up shop. Then there's the, sh star the Stars Shine Bright, which I got given me at a birthday or Christmas. Have yet to read, but I will eventually. Also, The City of Bones. Again, have yet to read, but will eventually. <laughs> 2000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. This is like a little side book for the Guardians of Gahul stories. Haven't read it. Haven't read any of them either. I didn't realise it was a random one. So, you know. Then I have most of the Hush Hush series, which was also given to me by a friend. She didn't want them because it's not the type of stuff that she reads, but I'm halfway through this one. But considering I'm currently reading Maze Runner, I don't have time to read that. Then I've got The Animorphs, which is a great story set, which I haven't read, I haven't read them in ages. But when I was in primary school, all the big kids were reading The Animorphs and I wanted to do it too. The next is The Dean Koontz story. Which is The Taking, which I haven't read. And then I've got Everlasting. And then I've got the rest of the Divergent series, which is Insurgent and Allegiant. I haven't read Allegiant, because after Insurgent, I kind of stopped and gave up on the Divergent series. But I'll get back to it eventually. 
Next shelf is this one. First up here is a Little Sister Pop vinyl, because I am obsessed with Bioshock, apparently. And a Big Daddy, because why not? And I've got a picture of some friends of mine, and a drawing that my niece made. First book is a textbook from Uni, which is a Shakespeare book. And then I've got another journal, which should be down there, but it's from last year. It's another Uni one. Then I've got the novel for Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> it was the only part I could find, but you know, a novel of the, based on the screenplay, so why not? Then I've got Twilight and Eclipse, which are my favourite ones of the series, so they're the only ones I've got. Then I've got a thesaurus and Clary's Bean, which is a kid's book by the person who made Charlie and Lola. And then Don't Let Anything Dull Your Sparkle, which is a book my mum gave to me. I haven't read it. Sorry, mum. And then I've got Rekindled Romance, which is not the type of book I will read, really. But, you know, you never know. I might feel like reading it. And then the very top shelf has nothing on it because I can't reach that high. I had to stand on a stool to reach what I've got. And that's it for that. Sorry I rambled on. But now you know what my bookshelf looks like. Oh, there's a book I forgot. Patterns in Criminal Homicide by Marvin E. Wolfgang. Let's I'll put that one back. I hope that's everything. I kind of need to remove, remove my Shakespeare textbook, which is up here, up here, and put it with my other textbooks, which is over there. In another shelf sort of thing, so I might do a tour of that next time. Um, sorry that this video was such a mess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Tell me your favourite book favorite movie, favorite game. I don't know. Leave a comment, leave a like. It'd be lovely. I'd love you so much for it. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Or Static Speaks My Name. And then Friday will be a vlog I made about the other soul. There'll stuff that's happening in the stores and just us. So that'll be fun. And then the next week there'll be a creepy part of some sort of horror game. Some sort of television vlog about the